Hello, Virgos. I have prayed over the cards, shuffled them, asked that each of you receives at least one message. Please remember this is for a large audience, so you might find that only one message resonates with you. Hopefully you'll find more, but you might find just one. If you find that it doesn't resonate with you at all, check your moon or your rising sign. So let's see what we have going on for you. So we have your situation, your recent past, what you are unaware of, and recommendations as far as what to do. Now your first card straight out the gate is Nine of Arrows. And this is all about insomnia, sleepless nights, nightmares, anxiety, worries that are keeping us awake, issues that we need to look at, mm, trials. Issues that we need to actually look at more deeply in order to resolve it, in order to move forward, and things that we need to address. So for many of you, this is this is a love. Okay, for most of you, okay. So this is a love situation. For those of you, you, you had a, a relationship fall apart, but you were getting some intuitive information that, that something was off, something wasn't right. Because in the recent past, you have major arcana, the high priestess and at the bottom it's trusting your intuition careful reflection before taking action insights that come through meditation this really is truly about getting deep insights powerful intuitive information getting guidance in our dreams getting the truth you see how she has this book opened up typically in the lenormand the book is all about secrets having the truth revealed so in the recent past, you have had some, some truths that have been revealed. Now, they've aligned with what you were intuitively getting, and they really rocked your world. You see how this water's all kicked up underneath her? That's because it, it even though you were intuitively feeling that this was off, for some of you, it was a third party. They, they, weren't, they weren't engaged in the relationship. You are intuitively getting that, but you receive some information about it, proving that, that your intuition was right and it really, really has upset you and it has left you stuck in a state of sadness and despair. Now, as far as what you're unaware of is you have the card, physical touch is important. It's number 47. And at the bottom it says, for some of us, nothing is more important than a tender touch. This might include a pat on the back or giving a hug to someone who needs it. And you see, she's been over, he's kissing her hand. Because we do, humans, we need touch. We need that physical connection. We need to feel someone. We need to embrace them. We need their kiss. We need their hugs. We need them to pat our shoulders and rub our back and hold our hands. We, we need that to feel connected. Because as, as humans, we need connection. I mean, there's even studies that show that if, if a baby, to help with the baby's development and growth, a baby needs physical touch when they're newborn. And, and there's even a bunch of s stories and testimonies that, you know, babies that were born premature or born with, you know, health conditions and, and, and things that doctors were sure that they were gonna pass away, they were not going to make it. But when the, the mother or the father embraced that baby and put them, you know, skin to skin contact, put them on their naked chest, had that contact, the baby totally turned around. We are humans, we need that. And you have not been getting it from this person. You see in all these cards, she's alone, she's alone, she's alone. You haven't been receiving it from this person because they're the night, they are not the right person for you. And, and they're trying to get you to make the final decision to end this relationship. Because this is, you know, what they're recommending you do and you have wise decision. And this really is, you know, because a number of you have been contemplating officially ending it because this person they're very unresponsive. They're very unpredictable. They'll, they'll write you messages, but they're like not really there. They'll send you messages and nice things like in text messages and emails, but they don't really physically show up. And for some it's because they're married to someone else or they're in a relationship with someone else. So you've been contemplating ending it and that's a wise choice. You've been getting a lot of intuitive guidance and nudges and, and pushes toward making that decision and ending it. They're trying to guide you to do that. And it has really come to light for you since we had that full moon a couple weeks ago. You see how you've got, looks like a moon, and it's also halo illumination around both of them. They've been trying to get you to make that, that decision to end things for good. Because we are in that time of transformation. And 
they're trying to transform things for you so they can bring a love in for you that is a requited love where someone's not just going to send you messages they're going to physically show up they're going to court you they're going to spend a lot of time with you they're going to kiss up your arm and down and we aren't going to talk about where they'll end up but it's going to be good it's going to be fiery it's going to be magical that's what you deserve that's what you need. That's what you want. You're not getting it with this person. This person's not there. I, I get for many of you, this person's like never there. Like you see them every once in a blue moon, but for the most part, you are always alone. They will send you these, these false promises, these empty promises. And it's usually from a distance and emails and messages. They, they may call you, but it, it's all, they're saying it's often, it's written. But they're trying to get you to release that. God doesn't take something away from us unless it's going to be replaced some, with something better. They're trying to bring you the love that you deserve, that you want, that you've been hoping for and praying for. This isn't it. You don't want someone that's not there. You don't want someone that's always absent. And I get for some, it's not even that they're, they're cheating. It's just that they just, they literally will not allow themselves to open up. They won't allow themselves to have a true connection. And, and that's what you want. So in order to get that, you, you're going to have to make the decision this week and let them go. And you have been contemplating that. You just haven't done it. And they're trying to help you do that. So ask Archangel Michael to help you do that. For grins and giggles, let's just throw a couple clarifiers out on a couple because I think we've got it all. <laughs> okay, they said, yeah, we've got it all. But let's throw this one, that one, and the wise decision real quick. That one. Okay. So let's just put a couple of these down. <laughs> See if there's anything we've missed. So we have the letter, the Il Nemico, and the Giovine Fantula. So what we have is the letter, the written communication. And then we have the enemy. And this is the rival, <coughs> concealed hate. You see how he's filled like a shadow? And then we have, you know, attraction to a younger woman, the female lover, the younger female lover. So for some of you, you are younger than him. But he's, he's not opening up to true love because he, he, he just communicates via letters so he can, he can be gone in the shadows all the time. He's not there. He's like, he's not there. He's dishonest. He's not forthright. He's hiding things. Meanwhile, you're longing and hoping and waiting for something that's just not going to go about. And this is what, yeah, we're going to do that one in the wise decision. Okay. So we have Messagere, Speranza, and Stanza. Yeah. Because we have the messenger, and this is, you know, message coming from afar. He's from a distance. There's even water there. So for some, you know, she's by water. Could be he's over in the dry desert and you're getting a message over by the water, but it is from a distance. You don't live near each other. And then it is written. And then we have the hope, the longing, the waiting. And then we have the stanza, the room. It's empty. Everything's all beat up. You've got pictures upturned. You've got the curtain messed up. No one's in the room. So you keep hoping and longing that he will come in your direction. You keep hoping. You do get messages that keep you to keep you stuck on the hook. <laughs> They're saying you're stuck on the hook because you keep getting these messages that give you false hope. False hope that, oh my gosh, we're gonna we're gonna come together. This is this is gonna work out. This is gonna be beautiful. But it just it it doesn't because it, it's not meant to be. They're going to bring you something better. Yeah, because he's lying. So we have the falsita, the grand consolation, and the morte. And so you have the deception, falseness, lies, hidden intentions, things that they're not sharing, um, things that you've been working toward for a very long time, hoping, but then you have the death, the ending. So this, for many of you, this, it, it's totally built on deceit, deception. He's, he's not engaged, he's not involved, and he's not going to be. And you can change the gender. If this sounds like your story, change the gender. But, but you need to make that. You've been wanting it to work out for a long time. You've been, you've been hoping, he's kept you baited and hooked. 
but it's just it's it's not it's not meant to be and you know that in your heart they're trying to get you to to make the decision to end that i'm sorry virgo i wish there was something better but there will be there will be if you can use this week to go ahead and uh make that decision and have that conversation although it does appear for most of you you're gonna have to Allie, no you're gonna have to have that conversation from a distance because uh you are not physically seeing this person but if you can have that conversation and end it it is all part of your transformation of them trying to bring you something better and they will so call on their help ask archangel michael to give you the courage to have that conversation ask archangel gabriel to give you the words because, uh, you know, sometimes we need assistance with eloquently having those conversations. So just call on their help and they will come in and help you have the strength and the courage to do that, as well as the ability to have those conversations so that you can free yourself and be ready to receive the love that will be coming in for you as soon as you get rid of this dead weight. So hopefully that helps. I feel with a lot of love, joy, and blessings.